Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 43. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Business 10 Chapter 3. Hey, uh, we have a big data set here. We've been talking about uh, mean, median, mode, max, min, range, standard deviation, variance. Ah, all of those things we did with individual calculations, but there is data, data analysis, a built-in feature that will do all those statistics uh, with just a click of the button. Now, if you need to down, um, add this data analysis add-in, there's the link. It's the Excel Statistics Video 8. We did that at the beginning of this class. There's a screenshot of what uh, the dialog box will look like. Data, data analysis, descriptive statistics, click OK. Now I already highlighted this range, but you would highlight that range right there. Mine has a label. It says sales there, so I have to click sales in first row. It's in the column, the data. Output range, it looks like I already put that there. It's going to be dumped into L1. Uh, summary statistics is what we want. That'll give us a bunch of calculations. And I'm going to click OK. And just like that, there it is. We have our uh, our mean, our standard error, which we'll talk about in a later chapter, median, mode, standard deviation, sample variance, kurtos, which we'll never talk about. That's like the t tail width of a distribution. Skewness, which we'll talk about later, the range, minimum, uh, the sum, maximum and the count. So that's just a nice quick tool to get some summary statistics. All right, we'll see you next video.